What is going on everybody? Today we are back with another episode of Explained. We are going to be breaking down what exactly is turbo lag. And if you haven't yet or you're new here, go ahead and tickle that subscribe button, turn on notifications, that way you don't miss any of the next upcoming episodes of Explained. So to get started, I'm going to give you a brief explanation of how turbos actually work. Um, so what happens is the engine produces exhaust, the exhaust spins the turbine, and the turbine, um, which is the impeller, compresses the fresh air, and the fresh air sent, goes back to the engine, and in simple terms, unicorns, they go choo-choo, and boom, you're faster. That is how turbos work. To get started, I'm going to give you a brief explanation of how turbos actually work. So what happens is the engine produces exhaust, the exhaust spins the impeller within the turbo, the impeller compresses fresh air, and then the turbo sends the fresh air back to the engine. Or in basic terms, unicorns go choo-choo and bam you faster, and that's how a turbo works. Alright, so now that we have a refresher on how turbos actually work and how the exhaust flows, we can get into what actually causes turbo lag. So, remember that impeller I just mentioned a minute ago, the one that compresses the fresh air and sends it back to the engine? Well, since the impeller has weight, that means it's going to take a certain amount of pressure to get it moving or spinning. So, as we learned earlier, the exhaust gases is what spins the impeller. So, if the impeller has more mass, or it's bigger in other terms, it means it's going to take more exhaust flow to get it to spin. This whole concept and the science behind that is the cause of turbo lag. Since an engine produces stronger exhaust flow as it goes up through the RPMs, that is why you're able to build boost, or more boost, the higher in the RPMs you go. So, the reason why you feel turbo lag or you're getting turbo lag is because at low RPMs you are not producing fast enough flowing exhaust to spin the weight of your impeller within your turbo. So to kind of show you this whole concept I actually I have um, a little air nozzle here and I'm going to show you on this turbo how um, stronger flow spins the turbine. So with this, I can control how much air is coming out of it. I can do a little bit, or I can do kind of a bit, or I can do a lot, right? So what we're gonna do is we are going to put this into where our hot side air, or where the exhaust gases would be going into. And then from there, you'll see how the impeller speed changes. So here's a little bit of air. So, with a little bit of air, the turbine is not moving at all, which is the same as when your car is at idle. You're not getting enough exhaust flow to spin that turbine. So now let's get a little bit more air. So, now with a little bit more air, the turbine started spinning, right? This is because the air is strong enough or moving quick enough to get that turbine to start spinning. Now let's just do it full force and see what happens. The impeller spins pretty quick, which is where you're going to compress and get your boost pressure from. So now that we've seen how it works and I've described how it works, we can go back over in basic terms that you can describe to your friends. So basically what turbo lag is, is it's the turbo not making boost because the engine isn't creating fast enough gases to spin the impeller. That is all turbo lag is. And if you want to, you know, bring it down even more, it's not enough vroom vroom to make your choo choo go psh. And that's all there is to it. So. Uh, the one last note to kind of help you gauge whether you're going to have turbo lag or not, the bigger the turbo, the greater the lag. And that's because the mass of the impeller is going to be more in a bigger turbo. 
One final note I wanted to put in is that all turbo cars have turbo lag. Depending on the turbo, it can take less time or more time to spool, but there will always be lag. Otherwise, you would have full boost pressure at idle. So don't let anybody tell you that their car doesn't have turbo lag, because unless they're making full boost at the second they turn their car on, that's lag. Whether it kicks in at 2,000 RPMs or 6,000 RPMs, there is a lag. So uh, keep that in mind the next time somebody tries to tell you, oh, I don't have any turbo lag. They do. It just kicks in early enough that they, they race within those uh, RPMs. So there's your lesson on turbo lag. If you haven't yet, tickle the subscribe button, hit those notifications, and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one, guys.